Hello my book loving friends and welcome back to Storytime with Mary. This is where we get to read all of our favourite books and if you're loving reading along with Mary don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos so that we can read together all the time. Book lovers, I've got a super colourful patchwork elephanty book for you today. Can you guess? I'm sure you've read this book before, but we couldn't resist but to read one of our favourites. This book is an absolute classic. It is called Elma, and it's all about Elma, the patchwork elephant. Can you spot Elma amongst the patchwork? He's a bit of an elephanty shape, isn't he? Okay, book lovers, today I want to tell you a fun fact about our friends, the elephants, of course. Now, we've had some fun facts about elephants before, but this is such a cool one. Did you know that elephants don't stop eating? In fact, book lovers, I have to read this one because it's such a cool fact. Elephants are constantly eating and they need up to 150 kilograms of food every single day. That is about 375 tins of baked beans in a day. That's a lot of food for an elephant, isn't it? And book lovers, did you know that they eat so much that they can spend up to three quarters of the day just eating? They love to eat. Elephants are awesome and we love elephants, don't we? Okay, book lovers, let's get cracking and let's see what happens in Elma. I'm sure you've got this book, so I hope you've grabbed yours already, ready to read along with me. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall, elephants fat or thin. Elephants like this, that or the other. All different, but all happy and all the same colour. All that except for who was different. It was Elma, wasn't it? Elma. <gasps> Elma was different. Elma was patchwork. Elma was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Elma was not elephant colour. It was Elma who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants. Sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Elma who started it. One night, Elma couldn't sleep for thinking. And the think that he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant? He thought, no wonder they laugh at me. In the morning, before the other elephants were really awake, Elma slipped quietly away unnoticed. As he walked through the jungle, Elma met other animals. They always said, good morning, Elma. Each time, Elma smiled and said, good morning. After a long walk, Elma found what he was looking for, a large bush. A large bush covered with berries. A large bush covered with elephant coloured berries. Elma caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it and shook it until all the berries fell to the ground. Once the ground was covered in berries, Elma lay down and rolled over and over, this way and that way and back again. Then he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't any sign of yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Elma looked like any other elephant. After that, Elma set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time, each of the animals said, 
good morning elephants and each time Elmer smiled and said good morning please that he hadn't been recognized when Elmer rejoined the other elephants they were all standing quietly none of them noticed Elmer as he walked his way to the middle of the herd after a while Elmer felt that something was wrong but what he looked around same old jungle same old bright sky same old rain cloud that came over from time to time and lastly same old elephants Elmer looked at them hmm what could be different the elephants were standing absolutely still. Do I look like a statue? <laughs> Elmer had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked at the serious, silent, still standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice, he shouted, Boo! <laughs> oh, naughty Elmer. The elephants jumped and fell always in surprise. Oh my gosh and golly, they said. And then they saw Elmer, helpless with laughter. Elmer, they said, it must be Elmer. Then the other elephants laughed too as they had never laughed before. As they laughed, the rain cloud burst and when the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. The elephant still laughed as Elmer was washed back to normal. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant, you played some good old tricks, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take long to show your true colours, did it? We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Elmer's day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer will decorate himself elephant colour. That is exactly what the elephants do. One day every year, they decorate themselves and parade. And on that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant colour, you will know it must be who? Elma! <laughs> what an awesome book. Elma thought it wasn't fun to be different, but he soon discovered it was the most fun of all when he was his own patchwork colour elephant. If you loved that book as much as we do, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos so that we can read together again next time. Okay, book lovers, I will see you again next time. Bye.